uh, marks or based on the property or based on your work just giving the rank okay let let me show you this one uh, we have a data set called the insure the target is giving a rank okay let me show you here uh, insure right insure also i think it is in source only yeah insure is there copy this paste it here and you register that number in the source uh, actually here whatever i am doing i can share this entire thing to you i mean after completion of the da studio i will share you the i will share you this complete metadata so that if you can import this metadata into your system then you can find all these things whatever i have done in my system you can view it in your system also okay means once i finish my work then i will import this i will export this as a sp uh, spk package okay so that spk package i will give it to you then you can just import and you can see uh, i mean the same content whatever i am showing you here then register insure that's it then what is the insure actually i think you have taken a small data so yeah balance view and total okay let's give the ranks based on the total okay so we don't know some data is there some company mm, percent insure and this is total so policy right so this is a total so based on this total we should assign the ranks so usually how the ranks will be given you want to give the ranks from ascending or descending means to the high scored person usually will be giving a first rank least scored person will be giving a lowest i mean highest rank means in the descending order we will be giving a rank right highly high to low but we are giving the rank from one to high means in the descending order we are giving the ranks right and one more thing here uh can you see anyone got to sometimes you know uh the same marks will be given to two people mm. it's not there okay you can even write also uh here uh for 11 right so i am giving this 474 also to 11 point 11 i'm saving this so insure yeah now you can see these two people like 10 and 11 got same total so how to assign the ranks to these two people okay yeah let us uh, select this column means to this total we are planning to assign the ranks right okay then create one target table or you can do it later also create a job but better you create a target table because uh here we have the um, total but there should be one rank column also right or else we can create a new table uh, i mean any anything is fine okay let me create one table here then the target new table i am creating so insure rank target location next we uh, take the source table insure but i want the id 
name, uh, total. I don't need all this. ID, name, and then total. That's it. And I need one more column also. That is rank. So rank always is a numeric only. So make it numeric. Next, finish. So we have one target table also. Then new job. So ranking job. Then ensure transformation is data related. Rank. Then you can replace this table, or else you can load also. Okay, but while loading, if you are loading from table to table, then okay, let let's make this table to table then. Table to table table loader. But you know we should do one small thing here when you are using the table loader. Then target is my ensure rank. Okay, so this is the control flow. In this control flow, first to save this one. Then actually, what happens? The ensure data should come here. So. You should select rank by column. So, which rank you want to give? Rank variable column to the total. Then, what is your target column? Then, target column is I should have one column where the rank should come, right? But here I don't have any target column. Why? Because I created a column called the rank in the insurance, uh, insure rank, right? In the insure rank, I created this rank. But this rank column is not present in the temporary table. Okay, so while creating the rank, it has to create the rank in the temporary table, then our work table. Then from the work table only, it will be loaded into the permanent table. So the work table contains no any rank column, right? So you have to create one rank column in the work table also to assign the ranks by this rank transformation okay so you can load reversely also here we have the rank just load this rank column here also see go to the properties uh, mapping so in the mapping actually is a mapping right the source to the column it's mapping but actually here rank is there it is not present here so select it okay now we have an option uh two target from sources or two sources from target right because this is called the target this is the source so we uh, load it now in the rank go to the properties rank variable column is total and uh, this is the target column because the rank should be assigned in this column then how do you want to give the ranks we have different options here ascending order a descending order, descending. Highest will be getting the first rank. Okay. Then assign the mean of the corresponding ranks. Means ties. If there is a tie, means if both got same uh, marks or same value, then you want to give the mean. Mean means tenth rank. Average. Yeah, ten point five, ten point five like that. So we'll be giving the ten point five, ten point five. Then there will there will be no eleventh rank. Then directly will be the twelfth rank. That that is one way. Or else you can give the low also. Low means 10th rank, 10th rank. Then there won't be any 11th rank. Then 12th rank we will give. Otherwise, yeah. high means we'll give 11th rank, 11th yeah. rank, and then 12th rank. There won't be any 10th rank like that. Okay, let's give the mean. Okay. Then ranking method. So anyway, you have all these options in the basis also. Then click on OK. Then simply run it. Completed successfully. Then uh, open this. Yeah, now you can see the ranks. Sort it. See, these people got 11.11 .11 point because 10 
eleven point eleven five. There is no twelve because we use the mean, right? So we just select only four columns: ID, name, total, and the rank based on the total. Okay, it is just a proc rank. It's a small uh, one. Okay, and then let's see one more transformation. Uh, Lookup standardization using the data flux that we can do. Mm, create match code, survey key. Yeah. Okay, we'll do one thing. Uh, this data flux completely will work on one day, maybe tomorrow, because uh, starting only directly, we should work on the data flux because it will take some time. Okay. So first we will finish these basic things. Later we'll do the data flux.